and welcome to this video of the Trinity Grade 2 Song Vals from the 2016 to 2019 series. Uh, lovely little song this one uh, by Jose Ferreira. Uh, vals of course means a waltz uh, and so we've got the time signature of three crotchet beats in a bar, three over four. The key of the song is in A major, so we have three sharps, C sharp, F sharp and G sharp. So if you're needing a little bit of familiarization with those again, we have on string one F sharp, fret two. Uh, we are going to play a, a G sharp on fret four of string one. We're going to play a C sharp, fret two of string two, and a G sharp um, on fret uh, one of string three, and I think somewhere in the song we probably also play an F sharp, which is fret four on string four. So uh, straight away, let's have a little look at this song. Um, one of the most interesting features of this song to me is actually uh, the development of playing across the strings uh, with the right hand. We're playing right-handed here. So um, I'm just going to have a look at that point first. So I'm actually going to look at bar two first. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little exercise to help us understand uh, how to cope with bars uh, two, three and four uh, and other bars that are quite similar to that format. The first thing is we've got a rhythm. I'll play the notes uh, as written. So we've got A, A, C sharp and E. But the format goes like this. One, two and three. One, two and three. And of course then we go to the next bar. One, two and three. Now, uh, if you're watching my right hand, you'll probably notice something here that's uh, uh, a nice technique to use. It's called full planting. So it's where we put our thumb uh, on a bass string. We put uh, our index finger on string three, middle finger string two, and A, the uh, ring finger A, on string three. And what I did there, if I don't uh, play with my left hand, so I'll keep that out of the way, I've got thumb on string 5, uh, 3, 2, 1 with IMA. And here I can just practice this routine by just going 1, 2 and 3. I'll do that again. 1, 2 and 3. And you can see because my right hand has got a full plant on the strings, it's very stable and solid and helps me get great confidence in my playing. Um, if I do bar two and do this, one, two, and three, again, I'm not using my left hand, my thumb is now actually already on string six. I planted it for a bit of support, and now I can easily just go one, two, and three. So it's the same right hand patterns, but different bass strings. And of course, that brings me back to uh, bar four, one, a bass string, string five, two, and three. Okay, so uh, missing out bar five, there's another couple of bars where we've got uh, the next part of the song. So we get a string four bass. Okay, I put the left hand notes in there to make it sound right. Um, and then we finish off with bar seven, uh, where we get a E bass. That's a string four fret two. But I've still got my IMA exactly the same. Um, so a great technique to practice here before starting this song is just to be able to go, uh, let's start on string five and go, then string six, I'll do that again. And now I'll move to string four, I'll do that again. String five, six, but you can see each time I'm putting a full plant on the strings to get real, real stability in my hands. Now, if you don't play that way, it's okay. It's, uh, it's just a technique that you can use to help develop the confidence and security of your right hand on the strings. Um, if you're not used to doing that, it is a great technique to start to try to learn now. Uh, again, it's just called full plant. So at each point, you start with your fingers and thumb on a string. Uh, and play that chord. So straight away let's go into the song. Um, an interesting feature here is um, I guess the 
playing across the strings all the time really, this is what we're doing. We start off though with a little motif which goes, uh, and I'm going to use the fingerings here, uh, finger three for F sharp and finger two for my C sharp, but I'm going to slightly change. that The way it's written in the book is that we get M, A, M, I. Now, that's okay, I quite like that. That's no problem on my right hand. M, A, M, I. So just playing there with, across the strings just to get used to that. Um, and I can see why it's done. It's bringing the ring finger in pretty quickly uh, into the song, um, but there's no need to do that. We could just play it uh, like this. Uh, M for E, I for F sharp there. Okay, and then M for E and I. Okay, so I'm just going M, I, M, I. It's your choice. You can practice both ways, which is always good. Uh, but it's your choice to decide how you want to play that part. Um, so we'll go straight into the song now. So we're going to play the E. That's with no bass, so let's add the bass. So we get three, one, two, three. Now we put finger one on the A, finger two is already on the C sharp there, so we can play with my full plant. One, two, and three. I move finger one back to G sharp. And back it comes again to A and finger two goes underneath, so we get... Okay, so a lovely little movement there. Um, let's just practice that uh, movement again. So we get... That's bar two. Back goes finger one for A sh or G sharp. Back it comes again. And there's my finger two gone underneath the C sharp. So nice little movement to play. We move up, fret 5 uh, with finger 4 for high A, with an A bass, finger 2 on C sharp, it moves up now to D because in the next bar we're going to play a D bass, B, fret 3 there, uh, string 3, fret 4 for the B, the D and F sharp. Okay, so just playing across the strings. Full plant, I, M, A, finger two and one go on E and G sharp respectively on strings four and strings three. And then finishing with two A's. Okay, so let's just play that little part through. So that's at full tempo, uh, that's what we'd need to do if we were doing a performance exam in the song. Um, just practice a little bit slower. So you could practice more at this tempo to help you through the song. Remember finger three uh, on F sharp that's going to appear and have your thumb on string five to start with. takes us into the next section. So we end um, on bar uh, eight, one, two, three. Okay, so I've got to just make sure we get the right counting there. Uh, fingers one and two on D and F sharp. So this is bar eight, one, two, three. There's finger four playing fret four for the G sharp. One, two, three, one, two, three. All I did was uh, move finger two back to C sharp, put finger three when necessary. Now, to play the F sharp, up comes finger two again. So it's just moving from Ds to C sharps. We got uh, a B as well. So E, B, D, E, sorry, E, B, D, E. So there's our D, a B on fret four of string three, um, and back finger two goes down again. So really in this song, uh, this part of the song, uh, finger two has just gone from D to C sharp, back to D to C sharp. So that's all that's happening. So we're using finger two as a guide finger.